<laughs> Netflix has spatial audio now. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews, and today we're going to be talking about Netflix's latest feature, Spatial Audio. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Router. More on them at the end of the video. So Netflix introduces Spatial Audio for Stranger Things and other original series. Let's jump right in. Netflix has announced that it's rolling out Spatial Audio for a select original programming. Uh, the feature should deliver more immersive sound, particularly for customers who are listening to a TV show or a movie with headphones. Uh, Netflix has collaborated with Sennheiser on this to convert surround sound mixes into an expansive spatial audio presentation that can be played through stereo speakers or headphones. Uh, you don't necessarily have to buy anything new or own a proper surround system for this to work. According to Netflix, spatial audio is compatible with all devices, all streaming plans, and does not require surround sound, speakers, or home theater equipment. That's neat. That's, uh, you know... Uh, just for being a part of Netflix, you know, they're saying thank you and, you know, here's um, a new feature that can enhance your overall content consumption experience. Netflix Spatial Audio helps to translate the cinematic experience of immersive audio to any stereo so the work creators uh, do to bring you into the story happens no matter what device you use to watch Netflix, the company said in a blog post. There's a fairly limited selection of content supporting the new audio experience just yet, but you can uh, browse what's available by searching for spatial audio in the Netflix search bar. Early choices include Stranger Things 4, Red Notice, The Witcher, and more. So, um, well, I mean, they're targeting shows initially because, um, you know, that's multiple episodes rather than just uh, targeting one movie per se. Uh, I'm sure movies are going to be supported down the road, but uh, right now the agenda uh, from Netflix's point of view seems to be, you know, just get as much content ported onto or to support a spatial audio as possible. On supported content, regular stereo output will now be replaced by Sennheiser's Ambio 2 channel spatial audio. Ambio pulls from whatever surround sound or Dolby Atmos audio track is available for the selected content and mixes it into a more immersive stereo profile. Uh, crucially, this process preserves the original sound mix and respects creative intent with a remarkably clean sound, said Scott Kramer, Netflix's manager for sound technology. Sennheiser, um, you know, they go into uh, explaining this a bit more on their website. While MBO2 channel spatial audio is not a separate mix, creators still have granular control over spatialization. Mixers can define the amount of ambio processing for each group separately, and re-recording mixers can dial in the desired amount of processing from standard stereo mix down up to full ambio effect and anywhere in between, according to preference pretty much. Um, dialogue can be left untouched while maximum spatialization uh, can be applied to ambience and sound effects okay we actually have a, a screenshot of uh, you know how editing something like that would look like um, for those with a full-on atmo system in their living room netflix's spatial audio isn't going to do anything new or different from the experience they had before that because uh, you know you obviously have the dedicated hardware at home in a situation like that and uh uh, this feature is pretty much trying to replicate the experience that you would get from having said hardware but without actually having the hardware. Um, Netflix's spatial audio isn't going to do anything new, right? Uh, but it might make for a more decent upgrade when watching you, your entertainment on the go. Uh, if you ever use a spatial audio on AirPods when watching a movie or TV show on supported apps, this could resemble that, only without the head tracking part. Well, uh, head tracking with spatial audio can become, uh, you know, a bit of a nuisance, you know, if you combine the two because, you know, uh, head tracking is exactly what it sounds like. It's, you know, tracking your head and then adjusting, um, you know, the sound accordingly. Um, spatial audio is, you know, like uh, making your audio 3D, essentially. So uh, it doesn't come at you just from like the source, but more like, you know, from different directions according to you know what's actually happening on screen and so if you combine the two like head tracking plus spatial audio and so let's say I'm looking uh, at my TV and you know something's playing and if I if I look to my uh, right and up 
for some reason, um, the audio is gonna get adjusted and start coming from like my lower left and that's not ideal because it literally throws off your entire content viewing experience and uh, so the two don't necessarily go don't go hand in hand uh, together but on their own uh, both of them are amazing features and I feel like this is a very very interesting and a very cool upgrade from Netflix uh, for pretty much all the subscribers out there uh, I, I really hope that they don't geo restrict this um, and not even at first so like as long as the content is supporting um, you know uh, audio spatialization um, it should be available across the board if you have the content you should get the experience and uh, yeah if you haven't tried anything uh, with said feature before not just on Netflix but in general I strongly recommend you to you know like just take five minutes out of your time if you have Netflix I'm assuming uh, just you know search for uh, spatial audio in the search bar and uh, play whatever comes up and uh, try to see if it, you you know you notice the difference and if it's any better for you usually um, it's the kind of upgrade uh, that you notice uh, if you look for it, but overall, it's uh, it's a pleasant experience. But yeah, that's just my take on it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Clean Router is the only router you will ever need because it allows parents to easily manage all the devices in their homes and stop internet pornography. It's simple and easy to use, doesn't slow down the internet, and allows you to block pornography, gambling, and anything else that you don't want your kids to see using the 7 layer IntelliFilter. filter. Logs all activities per device. It also allows you to put time restrictions, get email reports, and gives you the ability to block content by keywords and even filters YouTube. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.